Okay, so we saw one of just the most unbelievable finishes in sports history, quite frankly. I want to break down two plays. I mean, I'm not really going to break down the kick. It's just a great kick. But I want to break down the 4th and 19 play to happen before this. Because, I mean, you think about the situation, there's no reason the Ravens should have won this game. So here's the situation. It's 4th and 19, and it's zone coverage of some sort. I'm not exactly sure the exact coverage, because we don't have all 22 yet. But what we do know is that there's multiple Detroit players who are kind of covering that middle of the field area, which... It's an interesting decision, right? Because on one hand, it's 4th and 19. You don't need to cover anyone over there. You need to cover further deep. The flip side is Lamar is so explosive that there is kind of a bit of a concern that if you do just sort of have a three-man rush and forget about him, maybe he could run and pick up 20 yards. There's not a great chance, but it's possible, right? So I kind of understand the logic, even if it's a, a bit risky here. But basically what they're saying is we are going to make Lamar Jackson throw the football to pick up this first down. If they're going to get the first down, they're going to do it throwing the ball, not uh, with Lamar running the ball. The way this play works for the Ravens is they have multiple receivers to Lamar's left who are going to be running deep on this play. And Watkins is still running relatively deep because you need 20 yards here. But he's going to run and eventually kind of cross over. And bas basically just the hope is that, you know, with the two deep routes on that side of the field, you push Detroit players further deep. Since it is zone coverage, you can kind of have Watkins sit down in a, a gap. It's a good concept against what Detroit is running right here. So this is a good play call. Uh, by the Baltimore Ravens and as you see right when this play starts so Lamar you know plenty of time due to the three-man rush is going to fire one deep and you have an opening but it's not wide open right yes Watkins has plenty of room behind him but that doesn't matter uh, what you need to do is you need to be able to make the catch and with a Detroit player in front of him, this is actually a pretty difficult throw to make because you do have to make it over him. However, Lamar does put it right on the money. Watkins could have gone out of bounds too, by the way. He cut back in. He totally should have tried to get towards the sideline there. Kind of an odd decision there. But uh, maybe he just said, eh, let's, let's give Justin Tucker a shot at the record right here. Let's make sure we kill the rest of the clock and let him try a 66-yard field goal, which just should not be humanly possible. However, look at this kick. I mean, just a thing of beauty. Just barely got it over. I mean, it hit off the bar and still goes in. Unbelievable. So yeah, just an absolutely wild, bonkers game, uh, crazy ending. Uh, again, it's kind of one of those weird situations where you feel like the Ravens should have handedly won. Instead, they had to win due to kind of a miracle ending. But a win is a win, you'll take it, especially when they certainly left a good amount of points on the board, probably could have won by more. And you got to give credit for the Lions. I mean, they've been playing hard these few weeks. It's just been kind of an unfortunate break at the end with a, you know, a couple of these games at this point. So they've shown that they're better than maybe people expected. But yeah, uh, wild game. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.